The pre-parade serenade was provided by Marine Ben San Diego, Marine Corps Crew Depot, San Diego, California. The Marine Corps has played an active role in San Diego history ever since Marines from the Sloop of War Cyan seized Old Town during the Mexican-American War in 1846. Marines have been stationed at the Recruit Depot since 1921, when most of the buildings here front were constructed. These buildings, known as the Arcade, were designed by world-famous architect Bertram Goodhue. The Arcade is among 25 buildings that have qualified for inclusion on the National Register of Historic Places and are outstanding examples of Spanish colonial revival architecture. Since 1923, more than a million Marines have completed their recruit training here at the Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego and since 1915 at the Marine Corps East Coast Recruit Training Depot at Paris Island, South Carolina. Regardless of where a Marine attended boot camp, you can rest assured that they received the toughest and most physically and mentally demanding recruit training offered anywhere in the world. Some individual techniques and methods may have evolved over the years, but the focus and adherence to our core values of honor, courage, and commitment are as strong today as any time in our history. Today, the Marines of Company C accept the responsibilities to safeguard this proud tradition as they step forward to join this rich heritage. Ahead of them lie bright futures that will no doubt add to the proud Marine legacy that they now rightfully claim as their own. Corporal Manny is a four-year-old full-blooded English Bulldog born in Fallbrook, California on July 9, 2018. He is named in honor of Sergeant Johnny R. Mamolito Sr., one of the original 29 Navajo Code Talkers who trained in the first all-Navajo platoon here aboard the depot in 1942. Sergeant Mamolito helped create the code that the Navajos developed at Camp Elliott, now Marine Corps Air Station Miramar. He became an instructor, teaching other Navajo Marines the Navajo Code. Later, Sergeant Mamolito participated in the Battle of Iwo Jima, where a Marine Signals Officer stated, had it not been for the Code Talkers, we would have never taken Iwo Jima. Corporal Manny continues the tradition of a long line of Marine Corps Bulldog mascots, dating back to 1921, when Brigadier General Smedley Butler appointed Sergeant Major Jiggs as the first Bulldog mascot for Marine Corps Barracks Quantico. He's being escorted by the Office of Communication Strategy and Operations, Corporal Max J. Noel.
spiritual development plays an important part in the making of a United States Marine. Lieutenant Amy Ruth Bryan, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, will deliver the graduation prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Let us pray. Holy One, on this day of great celebration, we give you thanks for these young men of Company C who have earned the title Marine. We give you thanks for the gifts and abilities you have given to each one of them, which they now bring to strengthen our Marine Corps. We give you thanks for the drill instructors, company officers, and battalion leadership who have shaped and molded these young men into Marines. We are grateful this day for the families who have supported them every step of their journey. For their mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, grandparents, aunts, uncles, and friends, we give you thanks. We ask, O oh Holy One, that you be with these new Marines as they continue in their training. Keep them safe and bless them. Remind them to be always faithful to their country, to their core, to each other, and to themselves, just as you, O oh Holy One, are always faithful. Bless our nation. Bless these new Marines. And God, bless the United States Marine Corps. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. The Commanding General, Marine Corps Group Depot San Diego, welcomes you to what is a historic event in the life of a Marine. Their graduation from boot camp. Approximately 40 weeks each year for the past 100 years, new Marines have departed San Diego for service with units of the Marine Corps around the globe. The primary mission of the Recruit Depot is to provide basic training to recruits enlisted west of the Mississippi, which represents approximately 51% of all applicants in the Marine Corps each year. The Depot is also home to Recruiter School and Drill Instructor School. All our efforts here are geared toward one end, producing America's finest fighting force, the United States Marines. This morning, Company C, 1st Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment, will form and march in the parade. Following the pass and review, the graduating Marines will return front and center of the reviewing stand for final dismissal. The staff for today's parade is comprised of Marines from the Recruit Training Regiment. The Commander of Troops is Captain Roberto G. Cruz, Company Commander, Company C, 1st Recruit Training Battalion. The Parade Adjutant is Captain Brian D. Wyckoff, Executive Officer, Company C, 1st Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment. The marching units are now being called to attention, and the adjutant's command, sound adjutant's call, will begin today's parade. Marching in today's parade are 501 of the graduating Marines from Company C. Among the 501 Marines are two Marines who displayed outstanding performances in two individually graded events. Private Adam D. Brandes Lovage from Platoon 1041 is the company high shooter, scoring a 340 out of 350. Private Anderson C. Lip from Platoon 1046 is the most physically fit Marine, scoring a 300 out of 300 on the physical fitness test and the combat fitness test. They will be receiving awards from the Marine Corps Association and Foundation. Present today is the company honor graduates recruiter, Staff Sergeant Jose A. Lopez. Not present, but still worth recognizing, is the primary marksmanship instructor with a platoon high shooting average of 216 for platoon 1045, Corporal UCL Sanchez. Recruit training is comprised of subjects required to produce basic Marines who function effectively in garrison, are trained in rudimentary individual field and combat skills and practice the personal and professional traits which distinguish them as Marines. Examples of these traits are Discipline, the achievement of a state of discipline which assures respect for authority, instant and willing obedience to orders, and the self-reliance to maintain or improve those traits which exemplify a Marine. Military bearing consistently demonstrating military presence and personal awareness, as well as the proper wearing and maintenance of uniforms.
Esprit de Corps, acquiring the common spirit of the Marine Corps that inspires enthusiasm, devotion, pride, initiative, teamwork, aggressiveness, determination, moral courage, integrity, camaraderie, and the burning desire to work with and for others toward excellence in common goals. For 246 years, Marines have fought and won whenever and wherever the nation calls, in the harshest conditions, over the most brutal terrain, and against the most formidable enemies, Marines defend the ideals of freedom with grit and tenacity. Though battlefields change and capabilities evolve, history proves that true victory comes from the individual Marine. With skilled resolve, the drive to overcome any obstacle, and the warrior spirit to fight on against all odds. It takes that steadfast faithfulness, semper fidelis, to core, country, and each other that abounds throughout our storied legacy. Marines today remain in combat or deployed throughout the world, confronting every challenge with courage, loyalty, and faithfulness. They are resolved to be most ready when the nation is least ready, to defend freedom anytime and anywhere, to stand ready to aid those devastated by natural disasters, to pay tribute to those who have forged our proud legacy, and to honor the families and loved ones who faithfully stand beside us. For the Marines of Company C, today marks the end of the 13-week recruit training cycle. They have marched countless miles at Camp Pendleton and on this parade deck, and have been trained, as are all Marines, as basic riflemen. In addition, due to an intensive physical training program, their strength and endurance have doubled since their arrival aboard the recruit depot. They are Marines, qualified to take their places in the ranks of the world's finest fighting organization. The platoons are now being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact positions for the parade. The next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem, 
We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors with a military salute. For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during the national anthem to place their right hand over their hearts and for those in the audience wearing headgear to remove it. Will the guests please rise for the presentation of the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. Following the command, Parade Rest, the Parade Adjutant will give the command sound off, which signals the band to parade forward of the assembled Marines while playing military marching music.
The parade adjutant now presents the assembled command to the commander of troops. At the command, officers center march. All unit commanders and guide on bearers march to the front and center of the formation. Historically, it was at this point that commanding officers would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Following this, the unit leaders would face about, return to their units, and pass the information along to their Marines.
Throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Many who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for their dedicated service to Corps and country. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Battalion Commander for 1st Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Gregory A. Grayson. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of our Commanding General, Brigadier General Morris, and the Regimental Commander, Colonel Jones, Welcome to Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego and the graduation ceremony for Charlie Company! I'd also like to extend a special welcome to today's parade reviewing official, Colonel, Colonel Winters, who currently serves as the commanding officer for Marine Air Control Group 38. Welcome, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, the purpose of today's ceremony is to recognize these new Marines and everything they've accomplished. Their journey began 13 long weeks ago when they stepped on the yellow footprints and committed to becoming Marines. They arrived as individuals, perhaps a little unsure of their decision, but stand before you as a confident team of smartly disciplined Marines. During the past three months, we developed their physical and mental toughness, they learned essential warfighting skills, and they proved themselves to be leaders of character. But most of all, they came to embrace our core values of honor, courage, and commitment with a clear understanding that being a Marine carries special trust and confidence and the highest expectations of the American people. Now, as you might imagine, this awesome and very magical transformation, it didn't happen by itself, and I'd like to thank those who were involved. First, we recognize each Marine's journey started long before they got here. The foundation of their character, it started with you, in your homes, in your schools, in your communities. I want to thank all the parents, families, and friends, as well as teachers and coaches for everything you've done. I assure you that your love and your support was vital to their success. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for your support. Now I'd like to turn your attention to the Marines wearing the distinctive campaign covers our drill instructors. It's impossible for me to put into words their passion, work ethic, and commitment. From the moment a recruit arrives, there is a drill instructor with them 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They have spent every waking hour teaching, training, mentoring, and leading these young men. Ladies and gentlemen, these drill instructors have made a tremendous and lasting impact on your loved one. And I'd be remiss if I didn't also recognize their spouses and their families who sacrificed equally for the benefit of your new Marine. So please join me in a well-deserved round of applause for the drill instructors and families of Charlie Company. Thank you. And finally, I'd like to recognize our highly skilled marksmanship, martial arts, water survival, and academics instructors, our incredible chaplain, Corpsmen, an entire medical team who do an amazing job at ensuring our physical, mental, and spiritual readiness. And of course, the dedicated recruiter who saw potential in your Marine. In fact, Staff Sergeant Lopez is joining us from San Antonio, where he recruited today's honorman. Job well done, Staff Sergeant. Keep up the great work. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, if you'll please excuse me, I'd like to address the new Marines one last time as their battalion commander. Good morning, Marines. Hey, Charlie Company, I know it seems like a lifetime ago when you were offered the challenge of becoming a Marine. And when you arrived on your buses and stepped on the yellow footprints, graduation was the last thing on your mind. You're probably thinking, what have I gotten myself into and how do I get these guys to stop yelling at me? Well, 
You had a lot to learn and some very steep hills to climb, but you did it. You have rightfully earned the title Marine. Be proud of your accomplishment and the uniform you now wear. And finally, as I remarked on your first day of training, whether you serve for four years or 24 years, remember, it's not about you. It's about all the Marines who have gone before you whose legacy you are now part of. It's about that Marine standing to your left and to your right. It's about all these people in the stands in this great nation which you've sworn to defend. So, serve with honor, serve with courage, and serve with commitment, and you'll do well. Congratulations again, Marines, on your tremendous achievement. Please, take care of one another and remain Semper Fidelis. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you America's newest United States Marines. Now taking your position in the reviewing area is today's parade reviewing official, Colonel Jeremy S. Winters, Commanding Officer, Marine Air Control Group 38. He is accompanied by Colonel Joseph W. Jones, Commanding Officer, Recruit Training Regiment. Colonel Jeremy S. Winters, Commanding Officer, Marine Air Control Group 38. Colonel Winters graduated from the U.S. Naval Academy in 1998 and was commissioned a second lieutenant in the Marine Corps. He completed training and was designated an Aviation Command and Control Officer. Colonel Winters has served in a variety of challenging billets in numerous commands to include Platoon Commander at Tactical Air Operations Center, Yuma, Arizona, Company Commander at Tactical Air Command Center, Marine Tactical Air Command Squadron 38, Operations Officer at Marine Tactical Air Command Squadron 38, C-3 and Spectrum Warfare Department Head at Marine Aviation Weapons and Tactics 1, Group Weapons and Tactics Instructor at Marine Air Control Group 28, J-3 Operations Directorate as the Problem Set Lead for Russia, and Deputy Director for Information Command, Control, Communications, and Computers at Headquarters Marine Corps. Colonel Winters currently serves as the Commanding Officer of Marine Air Control Group 38. Colonel Winters' personal awards include the Defense Meritorious Service Medal, Meritorious Service Medal, Joint Commendation Medal, Navy and Marine Corps Commendation Medal, Joint Achievement Medal, Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal, and in 2020 was recognized as the Joint Staff Officer of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Colonel Jeremy S. Winters.
more than a million Marines have been trained here in the past 100 years and have departed San Diego for combat in conflicts around the world, including places whose names are immediately associated with Marine courage and dedication. Names such as Guadalcanal, Tarawa, Iwo Jima, Pusan, Inchon, Chosen Reservoir, Quezon, Way City, Lebanon, Granada, Panama, Kuwait, Somalia, Fallujah, Ramadi, Marja, Sangen, and our most current operations worldwide. This parade deck is rich in history and tradition, and no Marine trained here ever forgets its sights and sounds. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commander of Troops, Captain Roberto G. Cruz, Company Commander, and the Regimental Staff. Ladies and gentlemen, as the national flag passes directly in front of you, please rise. Once it passes, you may be seated. Marine Band San Diego, Marine Corps Crew Depot, San Diego, California. <laughs> series 1041, Series Commander Captain Randall R. Rainey. Platoon 1041, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Alexander N. Savales. Honor Platoon 1042, Senior Drill Instructor, Sergeant Zachary E. Romero. Platoon 1043, Senior Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Jeremy M. Hill. The Regimental Color Guard is led by the Regimental Color Sergeant, Drill Instructor Sergeant Demarcus Hill. Series 1045, Series Commander Captain Milan M. Morales. Platoon 1045, Senior Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Dexton J. Plummer.
Platoon 1046, Senior Drone Instructor Sergeant Juan G. Leon. Platoon 1047, Senior Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Robert A. Chance. Ladies and gentlemen, if you turn to page 21 of your graduation pamphlets, you will find the Marine's Hymn. The Marine's Hymn has a history dating back to 1859. It is a long-standing tradition for Marines to face the direction of the music and stand at attention when it is heard. It is now directed that all Marines present and who have served honorably, and ladies and gentlemen, you are all encouraged to join, sing the words to the first verse as Marine Band San Diego performs Anchors Away, followed by the Marine's Hymn. Will the guests please rise? Thank you. Please be seated. The Marine Corps' uniqueness and strength as an elite fighting force is directly attributable to the magnificent efforts of the drill instructors and company officers who train and supervise the recruits. The distinct qualities of spirit and discipline, the heart and soul of every Marine, have been developed, nurtured, and ingrained in recruits through their observance and relationship with their drill instructors and officers. Recruit training is the very foundation of the Corps. Each year, recruit training provides thousands of America's finest young men and women with the basic knowledge and skills to function in a profession characterized by its own set of high values and tough standards. The most important thing we do in the Marine Corps is make Marines. The individual Marine is the Corps. That is what we do here. For the Marines graduating today, the long, arduous journey of the last 13 weeks is but a small step into the future of the Marine Corps. As they prepare to fill the ranks of our Corps, they do so with unquestionable support for the high ideals and standards of the United States of America and the United States Marine Corps. Although Company C prepares for their final dismissal from boot camp today, their initial training is not over. Soon after graduation, they will report to the School of Infantry, Camp Pendleton, California, where they will continue to be trained to serve as an effective member of a Marine Rifle Squad. The intense initial training that every Marine undergoes is designed to instill the fundamental premise that every Marine is a rifleman.
Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Roberto G. Cruz. The company first sergeant is First Sergeant Alfie L. Sharp. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of Company C. The next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring the guidons. The guidons have been carried by the platoons throughout recruit training and are being retired to symbolize the disbanding of platoons. All similar units in the Marine Corps carry such guidons, which identify the unit and are a source of pride to each individual member. Note that the honor of carrying these guidons is bestowed upon those Marines who displayed outstanding leadership qualities, motivation, and character, and were selected as the platoon honor graduates. The platoon honor graduates compete for the titles of series and company honor graduate. They are considered the top Marines graduating today and have demonstrated the highest potential for future leadership and responsibility in the Marine Corps. The guidons will now be returned to the drill instructors. The honor graduates will now be presented a plaque by the battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel Grayson, and the battalion sergeant major, Sergeant Major Reyes. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until all honor graduates have been recognized. The Honor Graduate for Platoon 1041 and the company Honor Graduate is Lance Corporal Vincent E. Chapa from Harlingen, Texas. Lance Corporal Chapa is also the recipient of the Chesty Puller Award for his outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. The Honor Graduate for Platoon 1042 is Private First Class Chase C. Spears from Texas City, Texas. The Honor Graduate for Platoon 1043 is Private First Class Brendan E. Perdomo from Houston, Texas. The Honor Graduate for Platoon 1045 and the Series Honor Graduate is Private First Class Tabari W. Thomas from Richardson, Texas.
The honor graduate for Platoon 1046 is Private First Class David I. Workman from Denver, Colorado. And the honor graduate for Platoon 1047 is Private First Class Jared C. Hodbrick from Temecula, California. Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduates of Company C. The company first sergeant will now give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss their platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. 